Shin Shine, Shon Shun. Here's a bunch of Pokemon. Today we're going over why every Generation 3 shiny Pokemon is the color that it is. Whether that connection was intentional or not is unknown currently, as we still have no concrete evidence that there was or was not a rule set for shiny Pokemon. Video about all that up here. Now let's get started. Hello, hello! Today's video is sponsored by the Cove Commuter 2. You know who has two ears? Most human beings. And yet people buy singular Bluetooth speakers still. But these split in two. So you can put them as far or as near to you as you want and have stereo music a playing. They're super nice and get super loud if that's your thing. Super great. And right now, there is a 64% off deal in the description. It is limited time. So, for sure, check that out before the time runs out. So, because I want you guys to save money, you know? So if you are in need of a Bluetooth speaker with a 7 hour battery life and that's pretty waterproof, and that splits in two, check out the Cove Commuter 2. Link below. The Trico line is a gecko turned Dilophosaurus with plant parts, explaining the green color well. The shiny then is more blue, which is more like the crested gecko, which may be where gecko's head lumps come from. Blaziken and Combusken just brighten, not much else to do. Uh, but Torchic's shiny color makes it more accurate to real chicks. Mudkip's line all turned pink. Notably, this is the real color of axolotls, though significantly more saturated. Pooch and Mightyena turn brown and yellow, now matching the brown hyena. Zigzagoon and Lanoon turn orange, like leucistic raccoons, or just like orange polecats. Wormpole is purple now, just like some real caterpillars and worms, both ones that turn into moths and ones that turn into butterflies. So it works great! Silcoon and Beautyfly get more golden and soft looking, and golden silk is a thing, made by golden silkworms. And while not common, there are butterflies of this same color combo too. Cascoon turns green, and Dustox goes from green to brown. Perhaps it's fall colors? Uh, well, well, it's more accurate to most moths now, anyway. Same with Cascoon. Green cocoons are super common. The low tag line finds its green turning into this blue color, just like the Trico line. Hmm. Well, there are blue water lilies, but not the pads. However, from the right angle, due to their shape and the weather, they can appear blue at certain times of day, I guess, because of the way light works. But as for their bodies, uh, well, the last two don't change much. And they still fit with their original inspiration, being a kappa and a colocent. Uh, but low ten is red? Which would have worked better for the pad, because they, those pads can turn red. Nuzleaf and Seedot get orange, and some acorns can also appear orange, and then the orange may also be a way to better lead into Shiny Shiftry, who is now very red, just like most Tengu masks. Taylo and Swellow. They are just greenish now, just like the green sparrow, or the green swallow. Mm -hmm. Wingle and Pelipper, though, uh... Hmm. Blue to green. Notably, Seagulls and Pelicans don't have either. The best I got for this is that you add green to blue to make an aquamarine color, you know, the color of the ocean where they live. So like, green is the closest color that's different enough to be like a noteworthy shiny, but is still similar to their concept being ocean living birds. And then the Ralts line does the exact opposite, green to blue. Hmm. Well, its whole line is very generic, being a child, young, and then adult form and they all relate to dance and various psychic abilities. Dancers can be any color, and one theory says that Gardevoir is an Anasangma Ninyu, which can be whatever color. So I guess there's no reason behind their shiny, as there is no reason for their main color being green either. Shiny Gardevoir may go pink just to be more feminine, and its mega may go black just to be the opposite of its main color otherwise. They made a big deal about mega shiny Gardevoir in the TCG and anime, so I'm sure they just wanted to make it look good and distinct. A big black dress, like what you would find at a funeral, to counteract the normal bride's dress that it has normally. Surskit just gets darker, but Masquerain goes green. Uh, well, Masquerain is like a combination of several different bugs. 
it has elements of damselflies, lanternflies, water skitters, moths, and more. And this yellow greenish color is the color associated with the bug type as a whole, so uh could be that. Also, many of the species that it does pull from have versions that are those colors. Shroomish and Breloom just turn orange, and there are all kinds of orange mushrooms. Slacking and Vigoroth get more natural colors, like a yellow baboon, but Slackoth is pink now. Is that a thing? Alright, well, pink sloth plushies are extremely common, but also albino sloths get pink faces. And there are red sloths. I guess that's close enough. I guess. Maybe. Uh, the Ninkata line, they just brighten up with yellow, which is accurate. Bloudred and Exbloud turn pink. Perhaps to match their first form, Wismer, who stays pink in The Shining. Uh, but the ends of its ears turn green, of all things. Pink and green is a good color combo. And these parts of Wismer are supposed to resemble earmuffs, so I guess, you know, clothes can be any color. Makuhita gets red gloves, likely to reference the classic red boxing gloves and red punchy hand guards, and Haruyama gets a red and purple outfit. Again, clothes can be any color. Azuril is green now. It really has no reason to be blue in the first place, uh, beside it being water type, I guess, so just repeat what I said about Wingle. Nose pass is yellow now, like some of the Easter Island heads. Skitty and Delcaddy go from pink to red-orange. If anything, it just pulls from orange cats. Now Sableye! Its gems get swapped around to other sorts of gems, nothing crazy, but its purplish body turns brownish-yellow. Not really anything to go off of here. Sableye is based on the Hopskinville Goblin, which was light gray, but it did have yellow eyes. Like Sableye's original older shiny color. So that's cool. My guess, it's because yellow is the opposite of purple, and that's it. Mawile goes pink to appear more feminine and cute, as it goes along with its whole inspiration. The Agron line get red eyes and turn a cool gray. Agron is partially based on the Bulgasari, a metal-eating mythical creature turned Korean kaiju. And both the creature and the kaiju are blue. And then red eyes because of the blue to red color rule. Or just because red eyes are angry and aggressive, perfectly fitting for Agron! <clears throat> Metadite and Metacham just swap primary colors with each other. These parts resemble clothes, and clothes can be any color. Electric turns blue, possibly referencing blue lightning, and Minetric's blue turns gray, like metal. Or like those alligator clips, and most of them are gray, or silver. And that's brought up because an alligator clip is what inspires its mouth shape. Plus hole just darkens a little. Meh. But Minen turns green. So, they are both sort of generic rodent plushes. There's no real reason for their original colors either, so no reason for their shiny colors. They're just cute colors for the sake of being cute colors. Volbeat and Illumise. Volbeat's normal and shiny colors both resemble different species of fireflies, as does Illumise's. Roselia just swaps to different roses, which are depicted in media as being able to be any color. And there are geneticists working on that. Gulpin and Swalot turn blue, so they are apparently a slug, poison gland, gallbladder, which I guess explains Gulpin being green, but then Swalot is purple. Is it a spleen? Uh, but anyway, they are blue now. And well, blue slugs. I guess. Carvana is blue and red because piranha are blue and red, but quite often they appear green because of the way light works underwater, especially murky water. This is likely why most water types shift aquamarine for their shinies if they're not swapping to pinkish purple. Which just so happens to be what Sharpedo does. And while pink sharks are incredibly rare, they do exist though. Usually it's the result of a disease or defects as far as I can gather though. Whale Lord and Whalemer, they also go purple. And purple whales, not really a thing. There are pink dolphins, though. It's the closest I could find. Numal desaturates to go along with Camerup's super desaturation. Looks like soot. Though, their other colors do change around. Numal's top and Camerup's rings. And these likely reference bacterial mats found around volcanic areas like Yellowstone. They come in all sorts of crazy colors. Torkoal. Makes very little sense. It's a tortoise coal furnace, so it's shiny is pink and yellow? Well, 
when albino, turtles and tortoises tend to be much more pink than white. And yellow tortoises are a thing, so I guess? Otherwise, it's just those maths from the last one again. Uh, Spoink gets pig colored! I say that as if Spoink isn't already pig colors. And Grumpig goes yellow, like a yellow hog, or a red river hog, which are sometimes yellow, orangey, and not red. Spinda is green now! You know how in cartoons, when characters ride a roller coaster or spin around a bunch and they get really dizzy and nauseated, they turn green? Yeah, that! The Flygon line are based on the various stages of Antlion, and there are red and blue varieties of Antlions, but it's never reflected in their larva stage, like with Trapinch. So I guess Trapinch just carried the color over from the other two. Ah! Cacnea and Cacturn are dried up dead cactuses now. <laughs> sure is funny taking the blue out of Swa Blue. Uh, now it's Swa Yellow. Which sounds dirty. It's just a generic blue bird, really. Blue because sky. So now it's just your generic yellow bird. Yellow because of dawn and the sun or something. Ulterior follows suit. So Zangoose's scars are the same color as Seviper's tail and fangs because of their rivalry, and this carries over into their shiny colors too, now being blue, and vice versa. Seviper's scars are the color of Zangoose's claws. It was a lot more noticeable in the original sprites. They kind of muddied that concept later on. Uh, but anyway, Zangoose's claws are now bloody, and Seviper is now more green, like many, many species of viper. Lunatone has blue eyes now. Interestingly, it may be partially inspired by Tranquilinite. Or Tranquilite. It's one of those. It's a type of moon rock meteorite. It's mainly gray, like Lunatone's inside, but at different angles and lighting conditions, it can reflect reddish or bluish. Like Lunatone's eyes, they went from red to blue. Also, the sky is blue and cold, so there. Saw Rock gets much darker red, like the distant sun during a sunset. Barboach is now a yellow loach, and Wishcash just looks muddier now, more dirty, fitting for a catfish. Crayfish come in many shades of red, all of these included, but Baltoy and Clay Doll, they are Dogu, ancient Japanese figures. Clay Doll's shiny makes it more ancient looking, more historic, but the Baltoy green? Well, if anything, it makes it appear more alien, and Dogu are said to be from space, according to some, uh, pseudo-archaeologists, but they are also sometimes referred to as spacemen. And then sea lilies come in all sorts of colors. Anorith looks more like a fossil now with its shiny colors, and Armaldo looks more like modern-day crustaceans. Phoebus is purple now. Odd. I would have made it puke green or something to make it even uglier, help with that concept. Like, it's a special, extra cool version of a Phoebus, so it's extra, extra ugly would be my thinking process, but um, in, in this case, it's based on the rainbow bass, which is purple. This is still pretty good. Funnily enough, uh, in Costa Rica, which is where they are from, they are known as the handsome fish. So it's a funny, funny juxtaposition. <laughs> as for melodic, mermaids are mythical and can be any color, but being partially inspired by the ore fish may mean it takes the golden sheen from them that they get under certain lighting conditions, like when they're dead. This form looks like cotton candy now! But also, some beautiful sunrises turn various clouds into various shades of pinks and oranges. Because of all the CO2 in the atmosphere. But uh, all of the cast form forms have clouds that just work. There are different kinds of clouds in different types of stages. The only odd thing is the area around the eyes on the rain and snow form, but it turns out green storm clouds are a sign of a particularly terrible rainstorm and increased odds of a tornado forming. Wow! Uh, and then on the snow form, it may just be to resemble highly visible snow goggles. Cacleon! It's a chameleon. And then Shuppet's line. New colors make them appear more mysterious and murky while Duskulls are now blood-red, spooky in its own hellish way. Tropius's leaves are bleached or dying, and Chimeco is just a different colored fabric, and Absol's blacks went orangish-red. And the best I got here is that reds and oranges are a color symbolic of danger, which is what Absol is all about. Why Not, like Wobbuffet, is an inflatable punching bag, which can be in any color. Snowrunt looks more like an ice type now clothes can be any color. The eyes were likely changed to go well with Glalie's shiny, which has evil red oni eyes. 
and more desaturated ice. It looks more like snow now. The wall rain line all turned pink. And the best I got here is that they sometimes... Seals? They get their fur stained with the blood of their prey sometimes. Monsters? Giant clams can occasionally be pink, like shiny clam pearl. Huntail goes green, like some more ray eel. And Gorbis is yellow, now like most pipefish. Really, pink is the odd one. It's just because it's girly. And Relicanth looks less like a fossil now and more like the fish. Love Disc now symbolizes the love of friendship rather than romantic love. And the Salamence line are now green, like the stereotypical lizard color. But there are also green salamanders. The Metagross line are now gray and gold. More common colors for machines than their previous cobalt. And interestingly, gold works really well as it's used inside of computer chips, and it's a supercomputer line. Reggie Rock is just made up of different kinds of rocks now, like sandstone. Regice is... Not much different at all. Underwater ice, I guess. Uh, but Reggie Steel is really cool, actually. So steel doesn't rust or oxidize this way, but what does is copper. Copper is a browner metal, like shiny Registeel's interior, and it turns into this greenish-blue color over time. So maybe shiny Registeel happens to be a Registeel that is made out of copper. Well, either that or it's gone through a high tempering process, which will make steel these colors. Latios and Latios don't really have a reason for their original colors either, besides girl-boy, I guess. Uh, plus, jets can be painted any color, and Aeons are colorless. So, more no reason colors, so no re reason for their shiny colors either. Uh, but here's something that sucks. So their Mega is purple normally, which is perfect, because their Megas both look near identical, and like, if you mix their two normal colors, blue and red, you get purple. It's, it's perfect. And I really wish this concept was carried over into their shinies, but instead, uh, shiny Mega is green, and they themselves are yellow and light green. Like, I guess it's kind of a bluish green, but it, it's it's still, it's not perfect. They didn't carry the concept over. Kyogre! Blue to pink, just like Waylord and Walrein and many other big blubbery mon. It may be a rule of sorts. There are no pink whales, but there are pink dolphins. Primal Kyogre is awesome, though. It's black. Like proper orca colors. But remember, it was introduced in Gen 6. So when Game Freak for sure started planning out shiny colors, rather than just following a rule set, like with regular Kyogre. Groudon turns yellow, like sulfur and brimstone, and its primal form is also black, like cooled lava or charred earth, and shiny Rayquaza is black because that's just so heckin' cool! And also because of Rayquaza's inspiration, well, one of them anyway, Rayquaza pulls from all over the place, but Quetzalcoatl is typically portrayed as green, but does have a few depictions where it's black or gray. Jirachi gets a bit pink, likely to just appear cuter, and then the Tanzaku, the little paper strips on its head, are able to be any color. And lastly, Deoxys. So Deoxys is based on DNA, which is actually a mostly kinda clear white color. It's hard to see, so most media and textbooks colorize it. Deoxys's normal colors being the most common colors that it is usually associated with, but of course, this means that DNA in textbooks and everything can truly be any color, including yellow. So now you know a lot of stuff, really. I love these videos. So many little fun facts in all amongst all the uninteresting stuff. So what are your favorite Gen 3 shinies? Let me know below, and until the next one, never stop using your noggin.